what's up you guys it is mariah welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome welcome back to veda which is vlogging every day of april i am posting a video every single day for the month of april woo we are halfway there so <laughs> yes <laughs> that's so exciting um it's been fun but posting a video every day is a lot but i have been you know being a little bit proactive so it hasn't been super stressful so that's good anyway so most of the videos that i'll be posting this month are disney trip planning tips and tricks because i am a travel agent specializing in disney destinations so if you want me to help you book and plan your disney vacation that you are already set on going on then be sure to check out the link down below in the description box i would love to help you plan the vacation of your dreams and with that, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please do that so that you'll be notified whenever I do post a new video. For today's video, I will be concluding the series of um, my best fast passes for each park. And today we're going to be talking about Magic Kingdom, which is awesome. I love Magic Kingdom, of course. So classic, classic Disney and has a lot of my favorite attractions there as well. A lot of nostalgia. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, so as always, I will link, uh, not link, but I will actually post all of the uh, Fast Pass choices down below in the description box so that you can see which rides and attractions and experiences are Fast Passable. Can I like copyright that word? <laughs> um yeah actually i think it'll be a trademark the attorney in me has to correct that <laughs> anyway um so yes for these as always as i always say the little disclaimer um these aren't necessarily like my favorite rides some of them are but for the most part these are rides that have long wait times and the whole point you know of the fast pass system is to book reserve the attractions and experiences with the highest wait time so that you can maximize your time in the park so i will be talking about the attractions and experiences that are that have really long wait times and if you are interested in what i mention then you should definitely get a fast pass for them because of long lines so the you have three fast passes um that you can reserve in advance and for magic kingdom they do not have a tiered system so you can choose any three out of the list below that i will list in the description box and what i would suggest the top three rides at magic kingdom that have the longest wait times hands down peter pan's flight over in fantasy land um uh it's kind of like a, a kid ride but it's very nostalgia a lot of people like it adults alike as well um so if you're interested in that then you definitely need to get a fast pass for that because that's probably the longest between that and seven doors mine train um it's a family coaster that is themed after snow white and seven doors uh if you're interested in riding that you need a fast pass for that and then space mountain for all my thrill seekers out there um those these three rides and space mountain is a roller coaster <laughs> um for these three rides i if you are interested in any of them you need a fast pass for them because yeah <laughs> the lines are insane uh for if you are like a character person there's a lot of you know different disney people that go to the parks like there are people who love the food and anyway won't get into that um but if you're like a character person you love meeting the characters i would um maybe consider getting a fast pass for meeting mickey um at magic kingdom uh that one can be hard to get as a fast pass so i'll definitely consider booking that as a fast pass if you like meeting characters and you specifically want to meet mickey and then for oh also for characters uh enchanted tales with Belle. if you have a little princess who is a bell fan you definitely should get a fast pass for that just because the it's a it's not your typical meet and greet it's like a, i would it's like an interactive show so and you get to you know interact with bell and the beauty and the beast characters and things like that so you should definitely consider getting a fast pass for that because waiting in line for that could be long and then trying to rope drop it is probably not wise because then you would be wasting a ton of time um at that point rope dropping wouldn't even be beneficial if you did that if you wrote it if you did enchanted tales with bells first so 
your character people, think about those two. For my thrill seekers, Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain. Yeah, you need to prioritize those three if you have, if your party is our thrill seek, if your party has a lot of thrill seekers <laughs> in it, then you need to prioritize the three mountains. They are all thrill rides. Uh, Splash Mountain is a water ride. And then Thunder Mountain is a roller coaster. So, yes, definitely, definitely consider those three if you're a thrill seeker. And then I think really that's it. I would say for the rest of them that are on the list, you could get a same day fast pass for, as I mentioned in previous videos, which I will link below, I mean, above in a card with all of my previous videos of my fast pass recommendations for each park. I said that, you know, you can reserve fast passes after you've booked your three. Actually, I think I mentioned it also in my the mistakes that Disney that people make when they go to Disney so I'll link that above as well um but you can book fast passes one at a time after you use your three and so for the rest of the attractions for the most part you can get a same day fast pass out of the ones I have not mentioned so yeah I think that is actually going to be it for today's video if you actually I want you guys to comment below and let me know which fast passes you get when you and your family or your party goes to Magic Kingdom. I want to know. I want to know. Uh, just for kicks and giggles. Normally my family will get Seven Doors Mine Train. Um, and then Space Mountain. And then I think Splash Mountain. Yes. Out of out of those. The, those will be like our original fast passes normally. Because we love those rides so much. And those are hard to get a fast pass for. And we like the thrill rides and things like that. So those are the rides we like. So let me know in the comments below which uh, ones you get a fast pass for. And um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I love interacting with you guys over on Instagram. Again, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified when I post a new video for VEDA. still have a lot of videos and a lot of good Disney content coming up. So you definitely want to stick around for that. And a potential giveaway coming up. So definitely subscribe for that. And I think that is going to be it. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. I hope you did. And it allows me to see uh, that you like videos like this. So I'm going to go for real guys. And as always I hope you all have a magical day.